Thank you so much, Start Out, and everybody that's here. Uh, thank you for all the support. And um, this is really uh, an award that my wife should be up here with me receiving. Um, so Jennifer Johnson is <laughs> recipient as well. Yeah. with festive as well this evening. Um, I'm shy. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to share some of my thoughts about entrepreneurship. So every morning I wake up about 4.30 in the morning. We live on a farm and we have a five-year-old. Um, and I, But I really like to wake up early. I like to take a little moment of time, about 30 minutes every morning, to meditate, to have 30 minutes of quiet time. As the CEO of a startup, as an entrepreneur, as a volunteer, as a mother, as a wife, as a farmer, we have way a ridiculous amount of animals. Um, <laughs> my days are really busy. Um, most days, my calendar is just booked from AM to PM, PM solid. Uh, I spend my days pushing one stone up a hill only to find that two have rolled down when I wasn't looking. Um, with the growth we've experienced this year, um, there's a lot to do. Uh, I am fundraising all the time for Hip Chick Farms. I've been fundraising for the last 18 months. And um, that's, that in and of itself, as you guys know, is a full-time job. I meet with investors over and over again. I come up with crazy PR ideas. I'm determined to have Ellen at our farm. <laughs> <laughs> The last idea, this is off script, the last idea literally is to have her do a turkey pardon at our farm for Thanksgiving. <laughs> and you know, I love the struggle. <laughs> if anybody knows anybody, let me know. Um, so I, I love the struggle and I love the chaos. I love that we have a staff that doesn't like chaos and so, you know, really works to my weaknesses. Um, most days are hard and wonderful, terrifying and exhilarating. Starting and running our business is the hardest thing that I've ever done. I love it and I need help. And I'm somebody who asks for help. So I've done all kinds of things. I've called, when we started, I called Amy's Kitchen and asked them how to make a uh, cardboard that stands up in the freezer. I've called almost most of you in this room um, at one time or another. I literally Googled rich lesbians and then called them. <laughs> Again, if you're in the room, raise your hand. Um, but you know, at the core of my quiet time every morning, I know why I'm so driven to do all of this, and I know our business will be successful. And one one day, we're going to take out Foster Farms. It's <laughs> our business. It's because our business is based on three core values of who we are as a family. We believe in transparency, in compassion, and in trust, and it directs all of our actions. Transparency of how we make our products, what's in them, where we source from, and who we are as an out and proud lesbian family. Compassion for the animals we use in our products, ensuring humane standards are met, and for the people we serve and for each other. We believe in our team and we do, we all, do all we can to support our small but mighty team. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> There's the two of them. And trust that we're making the best tasting, cleanest, and most sustainable products for families like ours and working to change the food systems. Trust in each other, and most importantly as entrepreneurs, trust in our instincts, uh, which I think is a really important and scary thing to do as an entrepreneur, and Jen's instincts are always right. So, you know, our business is based on this founding principle of love which is good business, and after which all things follow. And I believe that's why folks are responding to so well to Hip Chick Farms. So please join us if you agree, because we can use your help. Wow.